Hey, Aiden here again from uh, Street Combat Systems. I know I haven't had any videos up for a while. I've been kind of uh, busy, but we're going to start putting them up on a uh, weekly basis. Uh, the last couple of videos, we did the palm strikes, we did the the uh, uh, sword strikes, which are both uh, you know good strikes as far as self defense. Sword, sword and palms. You know you can put those together when you're right in that pocket. Fighting. I know you see a lot of different uh, videos on uh, YouTube. I look at a lot of them. A lot of them make me laugh. A lot of them are stupid. A lot of the situations are never going to happen. If you go on, you know, go on uh, YouTube and you punch in uh, uh, street fights, you know, most of the fights you see are sloppy. The two idiots fighting don't know what the fuck they're doing. Um, the ones that do know what they're doing, most of them, you know, they're inside and, you know, they're. They're throwing punches, they're throwing knees, that type of thing, and that's that's really the basic stuff, and that's all you need. All these, all all these uh, people that uh, sign up for the black belt courses at their local uh, martial arts schools, they're just getting ripped off. A lot of those long, drawn out techniques. I mean, you're not going to remember those when the shit hits the fan, and you're getting into a serious uh, confrontation, or you're out on a date, or out with your wife or your kids, and you know. Somebody tries to rob your ass. They're gonna be, they're gonna be coming straight on and getting up in your face, and either with their bare hands, a, a knife, possibly a gun. You know, most of the time they're just gonna try to uh, uh, intimidate you, and you wanna, you wanna get that first shot in uh, before they do. And one of the things you wanna do is you always wanna go on the defensive. Somebody comes up, you know, whether it's at work, a bar, the gym out in the parking lot, whatever, you know, as soon as you know something, you know, bad could happen, you want to go into a defensive position, not an offensive position, because then you're signaling that you're ready to fight, and with everybody, you know, got camera phones, and there's video cameras, and shopping centers, and the mall, and, you know, etc. You want to just go, hey, you know, I don't want, I'm not into this, I don't want to, you know, get into a confrontation with you. You know, keep your hands up at uh, you know cheek level. That way, if something's coming at you, you can you can throw that block, or if you have to, you can throw that strike. If somebody gets close enough, or you can just grab them, pull them in, and throw them in, or just throw them down and, and take off. But in the last couple of videos, like I said, we did the uh, we did the knife hand, we did the palm strikes. Um, today we're going to do elbows because the elbow is another one if. If you're here and somebody gets close enough, you can throw that elbow, you know, right here, it's up in front of your face. You know, or if they're running at you, you just put it up, they'll run into it, and, uh, you know, that elbow hurts. An elbow, I mean, that bone right there is as hard as the concrete. I mean, I've struck, you know, training for so many years, I don't even, it's almost like it's numb now. I've hit it so many times against Bob the heavy bag or, or, or other people. But anyway, you're up here, you know, I don't want any of this. He gets too close, you're going to throw that elbow. You know, aim for this. Anywhere you hit with the elbow is going to hurt. Up here where it's bony, it's going to split that right open. You hit him in the jaw, it's going to break the jaw. Or cut his motor and put him on the floor. And you've got different angles. You can come straight across. You can come down. You can come up at an angle. It all depends on, on where he is. You can throw that strike. He's coming in, he throws that round ass punch, you step in, you throw that block, you can come over the top, come back up, break the face, and then throw a palm in, to the face, and then come back over with an over, come back in with an overhand right. So that's just some of the things, and and you know, as the videos go on, we'll we'll put them together where you know you throw an elbow, come back, break the face, throw a palm, grab, throw a knee, you know, all those things. So like I said, the fight. Is right here and you're either gonna throw a punch an elbow palms are great because you can't hurt yourself and you can or you can you know I can come down this way with the heel of my palm striking them in the side of the head I can come up come around from the side and uh, or turn it into a, a smack which is that's devastating too I mean that that'll that'll um, you know shock that person you know you come in and throw that block and <laughs> bring that smack around with all your body weight torquing into it you know twist your body and throw it into that smack or bring it around with a, a, a heel palm strike that son of a bitch is going down 
whether I don't care how fucking big you are, that shit hurts. And you know when I see these videos like those those two idiots on YouTube that are dressed in army fatigues, you know, saying when I hear don't punch in a street fight, that's horseshit. Because you know what? I don't care how many fucking degrees black belts you are. When you get to the real shit, all those techniques you've been practicing for years go out the window and the first thing you're going to do is punch because it's easy, you know? And practicing in the gym, it doesn't work, it doesn't happen that way in the street because that's a controlled environment. The street's not controlled. The street's for real. You get down, like I live in Maryland, you get down in Baltimore, yell the N-word, you'll see how tough you are because you're going to get it, you're going to be getting into it with some, of, some of the brothers who fight for a living every freaking day. You know, they're not living in some nice fancy neighborhood and going to the local dojo and getting their yellow belt, their green belt, their orange belt, their blue belt, whatever belt. The belt system is bullshit. And I will say it to any black belt instructor's face on this freaking planet. Okay? And I'm not saying it because I'm arrogant. I'm saying it because I've trained for 32, going on 33 years now. I've gone to lots of schools and humiliated, humiliated plenty of instructors in front of their uh, uh, students. And that's why I do this, because it's going to another school is just a waste of my time. Once you get to a certain point, all these basic techniques, you can practice these every day. You just go to online or go to Dick's or, or uh, the Sports Authority and get yourself a bob. It's the best thing to use. Put five, four or five bags, 50 pound bags of sand in them. He's good to go. Practice on them every day, start out slow. You know, work your way up, get your hands conditioned. You know, do some uh, physical fitness. You know, walk around the neighborhood, jog, push ups, chin ups. You know, go to Walmart, get some dumbbells. Walmart's got some pretty decent stuff for, you know, the home gym enthusiast. Um, but other than that, let's get back to the elbows. So, Basically, I'm here, you know, I'm like, you know, I don't want to, you know, hey, back off, dude. I don't want any of this bullshit, you know, and he keeps coming at you. And a lot of times, they're going to be walking like, what the fuck did you say to me? They're going to be walking with their chest bowed out and shit. And guess where their hands are? Their hands are down by their ass. So once he gets close enough, you throw that, you can step back in, rake the face, and then use that palm that we showed you before. So basically... You're, he's coming in, your, your hands are up, you're going to step in, throw that elbow, then you're going to rake the face, and strike with that palm. Same thing from this side, you're here, throw that elbow, now even if I'm on a downward angle, I can drag my hand back up, rake the face, and throw that palm. So I'm pulling his face away, and as I come across, uh -oh, away with the one hand, this one immediately follows because he has no time, he, she, or it, has no time to recover. So again, from here, like, no man, I don't want any of this. Boom! You throw that elbow, and here I'm going right under the eye into the cheekbone, which hurts like a son of a bitch. And then I'm going to come across, rake, palm, I can come back with another palm to the face, grab the throat, you know, hammer fist to the jaw, we're just controlling and start throwing these into his uh, ribs or throw them down and, you know, get the hell out of there. Because the whole point of this, of this is to survive. You want to come out with as little damage to yourself as humanly possible and leave him laying on the floor bleeding. Because you know what? When somebody tries to touch you, it's game over. Legally, you can kick the shit out of him. I'm not saying kill him. Just stop him from attacking you, your family, or your kids. Remember. You are in fear for your life. So again, you want to come in, your boom, elbow, you want to come across, break the face, throw that palm, another palm. I can come back up with this other elbow, come down, hammer fist to the face, back, it just goes, you can just one after the other. It's all here in the, in the pocket. And then with the with the elbow, you can combine, you know. The sword strike if he's coming in, same thing, elbow, right the face, palm, 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 sword if he's still standing up, okay? And the elbow, it can be thrown this way, you can come down over the top, you can come up from underneath, angle if I'm sitting here like this, I can just move 
that was about eight inches that I moved to hit him in the face. I thought if he grabs me by the head and gets me before I get in, he's pulling me in, I can throw an elbow, come down onto the collarbone, break that collarbone, that arm, his left arm, is going to go limp. He's not going to be able to pick it up. I can come down on the collarbone and then the sword strike that we learned before in the other video is you're going to use that. You're going to keep this hand guarding your face in case this other arm comes around and he tries to pop your ass. You're going to come across, turn your body. As I did, I hit, struck his throat, right in his Adam's apple. Now he can't breathe. And I came back up, struck him in the face again. So now he can't breathe. He's in extreme pain. All his warning bells are going off. You know, you can take off, get out of there. Because after that, he's not going to be moving anymore. He's going to drop like a stone. He's going to be like this, trying to catch his breath or holding his face. Because he just got his ass kicked. So again, you got elbow here. You got elbow to the collarbone. You can come around, throat, double palm, grab by the head, throw that knee into the ribs. Again and again and again. You got the head butt. Ear pop. Take his eyes out. All of the above. And that's, they're the only techniques that you really need to use. Uh, we'll get into some, you know, basic kicks uh, further down the road um, that you can utilize as well. But for the most part, the head, you kill the head, everything else dies from here. You hit him here in the pride, you hit him in the throat, you hit him in the nose, the temples, the ears, the jaw, the eyes, any of those spots. Is gonna, he's going to stagger, get knocked out, slow down, and it's that split second. If I hit him here, he's going to stop. He's going to grab his throat. You know, my second move, boom. You know, his reaction time is over. Like I said, second move, slap, slap, he's done. Okay, of course we go a little faster now. You step in, game over. Anyway. If you have questions and want to contact us, go to Street Combat Systems at yahoo.com. Subscribe to us uh, on YouTube. I'm going to start putting out at least uh, one video a week. We'll do some training videos um, as far as the different moves you learn. You know, you get your hands up, practice with your hands up, practice it in front of a mirror if you, if you can, if you don't have a good old Bob here. Um, and go on Craigslist. I found all my bags I use in my home gym, I found them all on Craigslist for, for dirt cheap. And you always find, because there's a lot of people, a lot of one of these, they watch UFC, they end up getting one of these things and, and uh, want to start training. But again, you get your hands up, practice that elbow, same thing with the palms, same thing with the sword, step in, never move away. I've told you that before in other videos. You know? You don't want to go like this because that's not going to do anything. Now you're off balance. He could just step in, psh, give you a quick pop, and and you're done. You want to, you know, no man, I don't want any of this. You know, adjust your stance in case you know he starts on the attack. From here, like I said, you got the elbow, palm strikes, sword. You can also box. Throw that box, palm. You know, block from here. Psh, psh. And remember, with a block, that a block is a strike. So when you throw that block. Hit that arm that's coming at you. You want to hit that 